Hey everyone, my name is Slava. A few days ago, I passed my CTS certification test and I'm really excited to share my experience. In this video, I'm gonna cover the resources I used and the strategies that can help you to get your AV certification. I got 402 points out of 500. That could be better, but I gotta say that test was actually way harder than I expected. Anyway, I made it through and I'm here to share all the secrets. Let's dive into the challenges I had during my preparation. Number one was numbers. Wavelengths, the exact amount of pixels or conversion factors, keeping all that in mind is tough. I'm not great at memorizing, but one thing that happened to help me is mnemonic techniques. Stick around and I'll share one that worked for me. Number two, math. Many people worry about this. Unlike CTSI or CTSD, the regular CTS certification doesn't require any overcomplicated sci-fi calculations, although knowing the right formulas makes a huge difference. You just need to remember them, but it turned out to be very easy. I'll show you some helpful prompts for ChatGPT that can help you to master this skill. After all, the CTS is for folks who are supposed to be called engineers, right? Measurement conversion was another challenge. Have you ever tried switching between metric and American systems? It can be tricky at first, but I believe it's a crucial skill not just for the CTS exam, but for real-life situations too. Financial and management topics were the hardest for me during the CTS preparation, because I personally rarely deal with these areas in my day-to-day -day work. Unlike the technical aspects I'm familiar with, these chapters feel a little bit abstract and Definitely language barrier. English isn't my first language, so some of the technical terms and detailed explanations can be tough to grasp at first. So where did I find the best study materials? Obviously, the official CTS guidebook was one of the coolest resources. It provides a solid foundation in all the key areas. However, it does have some limitations. Some chapters weren't as clear or detailed as I would have liked, and a few were rather oversimplified. Still, exploring the guidebook is a great place to start. If you find your understanding of a topic is incomplete, I highly recommend looking for more detailed explanations online. I also discovered a great community on Facebook, the CTS Professionals Group, which is open to everyone interested in certification. The group is full of people sharing tips, answering questions, and offering general support. If you guys watch this, thank you all again. Additionally, there are some test developers there, so I would say joining is a must. Now let's talk about how I studied. Everyone wants to go far and fast at the same time, but the real goal of any education is understanding. There's no point in reading the guide if you're not getting it. It's just a waste of time, right? Time management is crucial. I made sure to study for at least an hour every day, and it was really effective for reading the book itself. However, I found that I forgot most of the information from the very beginning of the guidebook. Breaking down the process made it more manageable. But I had to revise my notes. It's really important to take notes while you're reading, even if it slows you down a bit. If you've read a chapter but you can't explain it in your own words, that means you don't really understand it, and you should go over again. Don't forget to check yourself. I also used a cool trick from IT World, it's called rubber duck debugging. It's basically not debugging itself, but explaining concepts to an actual rubber duck. It helps you to spot any gaps in your understanding. Try this method when you're taking notes. Chapter review tests were super helpful for identifying my weak points. After each chapter, I take a quick quiz to see what stuck and what didn't. Try using acronyms to help you remember complex ideas. Acronyms are a great way to remember things. You just create a word or phrase using the first letters of a list of items. For example, to remember the OSI model layers, you can use the acronym Please do not throw sausage pizza away. Each initial corresponds to a layer physical, data link, network, transport, session, presentation, and application. This technique makes memorization easier by turning complex information into a memorable word or a phrase. I also took a lot of notes on my electronic book. Whenever I found something important, I'd highlight it and add a quick note. This made it easy to review the key points even while I was on the way to the certification center. 
And here's a tip you might not have thought about, ChatGPT. I used it to clarify things I was having trouble with and to quiz myself on various topics. It was like having a study buddy available anytime. Plus, it's great for explaining things in your native language. Next, I'll share some useful prompts that worked for me. Help me prepare for the Certified Technology Specialist exam. Ask me questions and provide answer options similar to what I'd see on the test. One question at a time. And let me know if I'm correct or not. This approach covers a broad range of questions, helping you see where you need to focus and request more specific questions if needed. If you're looking to drill down into specific chapters, you can always ask for more specific questions. You can specify anything you like, from network protocols to aspect ratio calculations or architectural abbreviations, and so on. So let's recap what we've covered today. The guidebook covers 99% of what you need, but how you study makes all the difference. Use acronyms and mnemonic tricks for memorization. Turn to ChatGPT for math, it can clarify formulas by showing them from different angles. Write down the key points and store them in an easy-to-review format, whether on paper or digitally. And remember, explaining concepts to the rubber duck can solidify your understanding. And finally, stick to a study schedule and manage your time well. Staying curious and consistent will help you retain more. And that's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful as you prepare for your own exam. Remember, understanding the material is key. So take your time, don't rush, and understand what you explore. This is not a sprint. If you have any questions, drop the comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Good luck with your studies and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.